Today, what I'm going to show you is how to turn these chopping boards from Poundland into a nice Easter decor display chopping board. Um, I also bought wooden spoons from Poundland as well, but I lost them. I have no idea where I've put them, misplaced them. So I bought these from the charity shop today, so I'll be upcycling these also. And um, I got some free printables. And I just picked really cute ones. So the colours I'm going to go for is blue, pink and yellow. How adorable is this bunny, by the way? Is that no the just cutest little thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I can't wait to complete these. So that's the bunnies that I picked. And I've also picked these colours. So that's just a tester pot of yellow paint that I got for 99 pence. And um, that's just a nice light blue and this is furniture paint but I'll just use it on the wood anyway and it's um, dusty pink. No, it's dusky pink, sorry. And um, also I've got some Mod Podge here and I use matte Mod Podge so it's not shiny on the chopping boards. So it's just going to be a matte finish. So what I'll do first is I will cut out the bunnies and actually no, what I'll do first is I'll paint the chopping board so that while they dry I could cut out the bunnies so I'll let you see that in a minute. First thing I do with the chopping boards is I get painter's tape and I just decide where I'm wanting the paint to go to so I'll say just try and get as straight as you can and then make sure that your free printable will fit underneath that so I think that's actually a bit squint that's a bit better so I just go all the way around and I paint the back as well just so it gives it a nice neat finish I'll just tear that off don't think I need to cut that yeah just tear that off so there the part we'll be painting is this part up here and then just making sure that it fits in Every single one. Yep, that fits. That will fit. And so will that. First colour I'm going to use is pink. Just press it down. Make sure that you've got it sealed there. I'm going to use the yellow one. It actually comes with this handy roller. So you just squeeze it and the paint comes out if it's not dried up. No, it's still there. And then just roll it. It's quite good on the wood actually with it being a kitchen paint. So obviously just choose whichever colour you would prefer for your Easter decor or spring decor. the first coat of the blue as well so I'll just leave that to dry. What I'm going to do with the wooden spoons is similar but I'm, I think I'm going to paint up that chill stick and leave this part for the wood. Just leave that to dry too. That's the pink one done. And then on to 
feel. Just leave that to dry too. That's that one done too, so I'll just leave that to dry. I'm going to now go on and uh, give this one a coat at the back. Just leave that to dry. Now I'll paint the back of this one. Don't worry if you get little bits of paint on it, just either wipe it when it's wet with a wet wipe or sand it off. I think I might actually just dry it standing up. As long as I don't put too much paint on, it shouldn't drip. Okay, I'm just going to leave that to stand to dry. Next I'm going to cut out the bunnies and I'll let you see once I've done that. Okay, I'll just film cutting one of the rabbits because I don't want to bore you with me cutting out lots of bunnies and taking lots of time. So I picked this one because I just thought it would be the easiest and it's my favourite one. <laughs> just um, cut round the, the flowers and that as best you can. I know it's like quite a small amount of space. Um, but just try and get it as best you can to the edges for when we decoupage it onto the chopping board. That's it there. So cute. I'll let you see once I've finished cutting them all out. It's only been a split second for you, but it feels like 50 years for me <laughs> after cutting out all of these bunnies. So I think the first ones I'm going to apply is the delicate ones so that they're on and I need to stop worrying about them splitting. So I did have that Mod Podge but I've decided I'm going to use my big giant dub of it. I'm just using a sponge to apply it. This is just a kitchen sponge that I've chopped up. So you're just wanting to apply quite a good layer of it onto where you're wanting to stick. You're funny. And then I'm just going to place it right in the middle, I think. Like so. And just press it down lightly. And then just really lightly go over the top of it and because you don't actually want the ink to rub and run so I just do it lightly and then once it's dried you could do a thicker coat so at the minute I'm just going to leave it there okay so I'll leave that to dry and then I'll show you what I do once it's dried I'll leave that to there actually next I'll get the chopping board for that delicate one as well same again just apply quite a good amount in the Mud Podge or your um, glue, PVA glue, I suppose you could use, but that would give a shinier finish than the matte Mud Podge. There he is here, and then same again, just try and place them as best you can in the middle. Pins to decoupage, don't use your fingers, just lightly press it on because you could actually tear the napkins just slightly. And over the top. Well, like 
So there's the fork spoon. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And then just add a little bit to the top to seal it. Leave that to the side to dry as well. Next up on the chopping board. Done, so just leave that to the side to dry as well. Then the final one is the pig bunny, my favourite. I'm just dabbing it because I find that dabbing it causes less runs. But I'm not a professional mud pudger or anything like that. I'm just, like I said, I just do it as a hobby. How cute is that? Love it. Leave that to dry too. Spin. There we go. So I'll just leave those to dry and I'll let you see them once they're dried. Okay, so that's the Mod Podge now all dry. I've done another coat over the top and um, what I'm going to do now is just chop off a bit of jute string and uh, tie it in the chopping boards and the uh, wooden spins. Love it. So cute. And the reason I'm putting the twine on the wooden spoons is if you wanted to hang them for decoration on your wall. That's done too. Put those next to each other. See how sweet that looks there. Super cute. I'm completing now the pink one, the yellow. It's crumpled a little bit here, but I'm not too worried about that. And the blue one as well. Pink's definitely my favourite. Let me know which one's yours. Thanks. <laughs>